What is up guys, Jimmy Jules 153 with another Dreams Logic video. Today we'll be going over the counter. Counters are a very simple gadget. All they do is keep count of something and output a signal based on that count. They're a pretty versatile gadget and you'll be using them in a lot of your Dreams creations. The first thing you'll notice on the front of the counter is a progress bar down the bottom there. This will turn black depending on how far through the count is. We'll go ahead here and set our count to 6 and remove these unnecessary cubes. On the left here we've got the count up, down and reset ports and I'll go through the output ports in just a tick. If we pull out a timer here and make it reset itself when it's completed just like we did in the timer tutorial. and plug the counter completed output into the wall color. You'll see that as the timer increases, the progress bar fills up and when it's full, it outputs its signal. Once our counter is full, because we've got nothing resetting it, it'll just stay full. This is a great way to make a permanent output. So if you want a signal to stay on once it's turned on, plug it into the counter with nothing activating the reset port and it'll keep that counter on once it receives a signal. If we plug the counter done output back into the reset port, it'll fill up then reset itself when it's done, creating a pulse just like our timer. The counter also has a count progress port which outputs a percentage signal based on how far through the count is. You'll see here as our counter fills up, it'll slowly increase its signal to the wall color port. There aren't really any additional options in the tweak menu for this one. You'll pretty much have access to everything you need on the front of the gadget itself, except for changing the count number. Thanks for watching guys, hope you're doing well and see you in the next one.